Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we will learn how to create this electric logo reveal. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and make sure to watch this video till the end. Before we start, first download the plugin Saba. Saba is a completely free plugin by Video Go Pilot. You can download it from the link in the description. Now, after you've installed it on your machine, let's move on to the tutorial. First, create a new composition. Let's name this as Logo Reveal. I'm going with a full HD resolution with 60 frames per second. Before hitting OK, first go to the 3D renderer section and make sure that the renderer is set to classic 3D. Then hit OK. Now drag your PNG logo into the logo reveal comp. Resize and align your logo. Now right click on the logo layer, and choose pre-compose. I'm calling it logo comp. Check the move all attributes into the new composition option, then hit OK. Then double click to open the logo comp, and click on the transparency grid to turn it off. Now close the logo comp. Now with logo comp selected, go to layer option, and choose auto trace. Now set the values of auto trace option to the values shown, then hit OK. This creates a mask of our logo. Keep the mask visibility option off. Again with the logo comp selected, go to the effect option, then go to video copilot, and choose Saba. We now will tweak Saba according to our need. First go to the preset option, and then choose Arc Reactor. Then choose any color that you want to use. Then expand the customize core option, and change core type from Saba to layer mask. This creates an electric version of our logo. Now if you want, then you can change the glow intensity if you think there's too much glow. Now we will animate this electric effect. Make sure you're at the beginning. Then click on the stopwatch icon next to mask evolution end size and end offset option to create a keyframe. Now set the start size to 0% and start off set to 100%. Then move a couple frames forward, and reduce the value of end offset to 0%. Again move few more second forward. Now expand the effects option. Then expand Saber option. Then expand customize core option. And create a keyframe for end size and end offset. Now again move a few seconds forward. And then reduce end size to 0%. And increase end offset to 100. Let's preview this. Our Saber effect is animating now. Now let's create reflecting floor for our logo. First right click on the logo comp layer. And convert it into a 3D layer. Now again right click on the logo comp layer. Then go to blending mode, and choose add. Now if you want, then you can move the logo comp a bit upward to allow some space for the reflection. Now with the logo comp layer selected, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate it. Name this as reflection comp. Drag the reflection comp below our logo comp. Now with reflection comp selected, hit R on the keyboard to open rotation option, and change the X value in orientation option to 180 degrees. This flips our reflection comp vertically. Now expand the reflection comp, and change the position to bring down the reflection. Now it's time to create the floor. Open the project panel and drag the floor texture image. You can download this floor texture image from the link in the description. 
right click on the floor texture image, and convert it into a 3D layer. Now expand the transform section, and change the X value of orientation in such a way, that it gets perspective of a floor. Change the position of the floor texture. Now before proceeding further, make sure that no part of the reflection comp layer, or logo comp layer is intersecting the floor texture. Now to fill these empty floor area. With the floor texture selected, go to effect. Then go to stylize. Then choose motion tile. Here check the mirror edges option. Now change the output width and height option according to your need. If you need to fill the floor to the side, then increase the width value. And if you need to fill the floor in front area, then increase the value of height. Now right click, and pre-compose the floor texture layer. Name this as floor comp. Choose move all attributes into the new composition. Then hit OK. Now due to pre-composing, the 3D property of floor texture layer gets hidden. So check on this reveal all effects option to unhide it. If you can't see this option, then click here on toggle switch modes. Now turn off the floor layer. And create a new adjustment layer. Drag this above the reflection comp layer. With adjustment layer selected, go to effects, then go to blur and sharpen, and choose compound blur. Change the blur layer to floor comp. This gives a floor texture to our reflection comp. If you want to add more blur, then change the value of maximum blur according to your liking. To make the reflection look even better, go to effects and preset option, and search fast box blur and drag it on the reflection comp and change the blur dimensions to vertical and increase the blur radius a little bit now it's time to add some camera motion to our logo reveal right click and create a new camera i'm going with a focal length of 28 millimeters drag it over the logo comp layer expand the camera layer then expand the transform option. And then expand the camera option. First reduce the zoom a little. Now in the transform section. Click on the stopwatch icon next to the position option and wire rotation. I want the logo to appear from left side and want my camera to rotate and slowly zoom my logo to center. So I'm changing the value of position and Y rotation to create the first frame of my camera movement. Perfect. Now select both the keyframes, and drag to the start. Now move to couple seconds forward from the start. And change the camera position little to the right side, and a bit in forward direction. Again move a little bit forward. And bring down the Y rotation value to zero. Perfect. Now at the end, I want to add a zooming effect to the camera. So move a little bit forward. And increase the value of Z position to less negative value. To keep it fluid, change the Y rotation value to a small negative value. I'm going with minus 1.5 degrees. Now we want the logo to be zoom focused to the very center of the screen. So go to the start. And create a keyframe on point of interest option. Then open the logo comp. And expand the transform option of our logo. And copy Y value of position. Then come back to the logo reveal comp. And move all the way to the last frame. And paste the copied value in the Y value of point of interest. Let's preview this. Perfect. 
Now let's create the logo transition that will be revealed at the end. With the logo comp selected, press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Name this as main logo. Delete the saber effect of this layer. Turn off the main logo comp for now. And move to the point where the electric saber just starts to fade out. And then trim the main logo comp layer to that point. Now turn on the main logo comp. Then go to effects and presets, and search for fade dip to black. Drag it on the main logo comp. Expand the main logo layer, then expand the effects option. Here you can see the key frames of the transition that we applied now. Change color of map black to option and map white to option to the color that you used for the electric effect. Now expand the fade master control. And move the second key point to the point where the reflection and saber effect just fades out. Move half second backward. And create a key frame for fade master control. Then change the transition completion to 75%. Let's preview this. Perfect. Now let's preview the whole animation. We have finally created our electric logo reveal.